Hey guys, and for reals this time, welcome to Let's Play Dirge of Cerberus. In the part zero, I went ahead and showed you the tutorial. In this part, let's actually start the game. Now, when you first play it off, you only have normal and hard at your availability. So, first person experience? What? This is in third person. Anyway, we're doing this on hard. Yes, create a save. Game is auto-saving whenever this small icon in the top right appears. During that time, do not remove the memory card. Or turn off the power. Duh! Do that and the whole world's gonna end. No, seriously, a black hole will create around itself, around your PlayStation 2. Suck you in, suck in the world. Yeah, you just screwed the world over. Please don't do that. It does take a little while, considering it is, you know, creating. Like, you know, the first time you install something, it takes takes a little while, but when you install it again, like you didn't delete everything, it, 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 it it's a little faster. Just play the waiting game. Alright, commencing setting configuration. Vibration, yes. Sound output, don't be pro logic too, I don't have that. Well, I don't think I do. But we'll keep it at that anyway. Subtitles, on. Speaker's name, on. We want that normal, site support, semi-automatic. Manual. Okay, I get it. Yep, this is exactly what we want. Complete setting configuration and proceed. Yes. And opening cutscene.
again. Lucrezia. Uh, yikes, that's a lot to take in all at once, so, uh, try to slow it down, maybe replay it a couple times, and try to fit it all in. The Sea of Flames. Uh, say what? Found us? Okay, seriously. Is that necessary? Alright, there we go. So, let's go ahead and check out our first pistol. Forgetting my buttons. This is the Cerberus. It's our very first handgun, and as you saw in the introduction cutscene, Vincent did have this. It's also used in Advent Children. It's Vincent's standard gun. He uses it against that monster thing. Uh, the deal with this gun is that it's not in Final Fantasy VII Original, I don't believe. I've never seen it if it is. And, 
Well, it's all around good for medium range. This just goes through, like, basic tutorial stuff if you didn't go through it already. And grab that ladder. Thank you. All right, so uh, let's go over the introductory and stuff. So apparently there was somebody alive on the Maku Cannon. We all know about the Maku Cannon. Maku? Am I saying Maku or Mako? The Mako Cannon. Yes, I know about bullets. Thank you. And uh, the only person we know who we killed up there was Hojo. So if anybody else is up there, well, they are definitely dead. There's nothing down there. We can't get down here. And apparently fragmentation. Vincent back in the cave that's a, up at the waterfall. The Cretius Cave. Boom! But, uh, yeah, so far, so confusing. Reeve wants us here in Calm if you didn't read the cell phone message. And Calm is really redesigned. Seriously, it's a lot bigger than it was in Final Fantasy VII. Alright, so, now we have to go ahead and find Reeve, but that's going to be a little tricky considering we're being stopped by whoever the hell these guys are. I'm going to try to keep my swearing down to a T level, considering this is a raid T14 game. Item over here, I think this is nothing more than Gil, maybe a Limit Breaker. Nope, just a potion. I was wrong both. But yeah, so apparently there was a celebration in Calm, and now these guys had to ruin all the fun. Really? Couldn't you just wait until the celebration was over before you did what you did? And their targeting system, people red, people green, what's, what's that supposed to be? So confusing! Ah. Quit stopping my kill chain. There we go. Now, obviously as a shooter, there's not much to talk about, other than... Now, where am I supposed to meet Reed? Now, we get into objective places. Let's go ahead and see. Our objective is here. That's where we're going to meet Reed. We are here. So we need to make our way through the town, which is on fire, hence the name Sea of Fire. And our objective, find Reed. Simple enough, right? Protect the civilians is another objective. So let's do that. Stop shooting at civvies! Oh, shoot. Reload. Ah! Jiminy Christmas! This is... like... App. Ah, App. Ah. Using the wrong buttons. Just trying to use my potion instead of using... Switch to my high potion. Whoa, hey! There are a lot more enemies than I remember. Then again, I've only played it on normal, so... It's really another experience for me. Oh. Hey! Lose him! Lose him! Thank you. Did he live? I'm hoping so. Well, that's so far a few saved. Let's keep going. Now, there's some things you have to be looking out for. I'll go ahead and point out what you're supposed to be looking for when I find one. But, otherwise, leave them alone. Yeah, somebody's back here. Hello. Back down this alleyway. Oh, are they still out there? No. Not anymore. Uh, all right. Come on. Yeah. Now, Vincent's playing hero, something that, you know, you wouldn't expect him to. He's... He's kind of like a dark character. Kind of. He looks kind of emo in this game. But that's just me. 500 gil behind that crate. More people back here. A little child. Thank you. Yes. And I think, honestly, if I was that kid, I'd be a little scared of Vincent. Anyway, you still have your standard double jump. And actually, he no longer rolls. He actually, like, just jumps. You can still crouch and crawl, but... And then his ground combo is different. It's only a three hit, and his air combo is also a three hit. He's a lot different than his turkey ears. He's probably aged a little. But then again, he... It's in the Final Fantasy VII guidebook. It says he's like 20-something. In actuality, he's more like 50. So he's old. Mako points. Give me magic. And here's our first bit of materia. Fire materia. Let's go ahead and give that to our gun. Materia adds a little weight, but it's not that bad. So really, I recommend using it. Where are they taking these people? Seriously. You're 
It's not cool that you're kidnapping women and children and men, maybe. But still, where are you taking them? Tell me. Either way, let's clear them out. Boom. Yeah. Oh, snap. Get shot at. Use these white boxes to keep your kill chain going or to just increase it, as you clearly saw me do in the tutorial. Can't carry any more potions, and I'm really skipping a lot of letters in my words. Right, these parts are actually going to be 30 minutes because obviously these this is a really different kind of game and I don't want to leave you at a cliffhanger. Now we know we have to use a card key to get through these. Yes, I know. It's on hard mode, you should skip this tutorial. What's going on? Ah! Jeez! Hey! What's wrong with you? Where's the card key? Yeah. I actually like that trick. You can just double jump, keep shooting, and you'll stay in midair. Though I shouldn't be wasting bullets. That's not a very smart idea. Ah, uh, I think there's a secret around here. Maybe, maybe not. I might be going in cr crazy. Checking there. No, I don't see one. You you have to look for something. I know there's one in this level. But I don't know where all of them are. Let's see, there's a fire. Sometimes you can see them, sometimes you can't. But don't just blind fire. Oh, snap, what's going on? Hey! 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 What's wrong with you? Okay, everybody's okay. Maybe a little shot up, but... There might be a secret through this one. Nope. Trust me, I'm floundering around a lot when... Hey! Who said you could break and enter? Oh, limit breakers! Now, we can turn it to the powerful Galleon Beast. This is our only limit break, unfortunately. Try to save it if you can, because it fully heals you. It's like an X-Potion. Well, Mega Elixir, more like. Really? Quit shooting at me. Oh, snap. Okay, maybe you can shoot at me a little. Just just die, please. Thank you. Okay, is there... Nope. Usually when you see a black screen, it usually... Yeah, cutscene. There's a lot of that. Thankfully, it's not like Metal Gear Solid, where you just take a few steps and Otacon wants you. Really, these dog things have this targeting system, and one of them said tainted, and the other one said clean. What? Seriously! I actually know this stuff, but I'm pretty sure you guys are very confused. Maybe those of you who haven't played the game, but still. Alright. Hey! Drop her! Uh, yeah. She's meant to be invincible. Save the abducted girl, certainly. Now, there's a secret in here. Right there. You're looking for these. You just shoot at it. If I get it. There we go. And you'll get an autosave. Those are little secret things. I'm not really sure what they're meant for. Phoenix down. Let's go ahead and use that. Keep ourselves alive. Very useful. Oh, deal. I actually want to know how much I have. A high potion. Always helpful. Hey! Hey! I must have triggered something. Whoa! Hey! Ow! Really? Are you... Are you even allowed to be up there? That's not fair. Okay, quit shooting at me. This is getting a little ridiculous. There might not be random battles, but there are random encounters. It's really different. But you don't know where they're gonna pop out of. Ah! 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 Just spamming my shots. It's gonna down my grade a little. Ah! my Christmas! Okay. Get out of the houses. Thank you. Well, they're not all out of there, but mostly. Okay. Ow! That hurt, you know. Ooh. There are really a few of them. Oh, hi. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna stop, so I better do this now. We need to push the buttons on this door, and you'll get a timer. It's not gonna blow up, it's gonna open. 
That's how much time you got until it opens up. Come on, quit shooting at me. Why are you there? I got a hit on you. There we go. Alright. Little girl. Hey, little girl. Ah, jeez! Monster! Okay, killed it. Now we have to secure the area. So the girl can return to her mummy. And I'm... T I'm getting the crap beaten out of me. Hello? Hey! Hey! Out of the house! Thank you. Also, something you probably noticed already, but the Cerberus fires three bullets, rather than the standard one. It's a very unique revolver. Mommy. I mean, technically this thing would have to be a revolver. It wouldn't necessarily work any other way. Maybe a clip format, but... The way Vincent reloads, just watch this very, very closely. He spins it out like, you know, he's actually reloading it like like a revolver, so... That actually says, yes, it is a revolver, which would be very difficult to make. Or at least, to make it in real life. I don't know how they did it in this game. Now, we're supposed to be going this way. I think there might be a secret way. Anyway, the card key is the green dot. That's our little objective. Hello? What's going on? What are you doing? Aiming at a poor, defenseless girl! Freaking... I really hate antagonists sometimes. You alright? Honestly, Vincent is really cool in this game. This is up oh, sniper scope. This is very useful when you want to aim at a far off location. But we're not going to put it on this one. No, no, this will be our medium range weapon. We're going to put it on this one. Now, if we click in, we can scope in, but since it's medium range, it's not going to help us much. That looks really weird on a pistol. Do you, do you like to see that? It looks better on a rifle. Either way, Mako Point, always nice to collect because they do improve your rank. Get out of here. Oh. Alright, yep. Gotcha! There we go. Now our chain's up to nine, which gives us a lot of damage. Trust me on that one. Don't waste your bullet. Here's our card key. But we should explore around a little more. Like back here is 500 gil. I should use a potion. Pretty badly. I think these heal for 200 in this game, rather than the standard 100. I'm not really sure. Uh-oh. What's going on? I wish I could shoot at you. Seriously. I can't really help you. There we go. Now I can. That so looked like yeah, I was going to hit him. Oh, by the by, your voice. Thank you so, much. so we said quite a few civvies. Don't you feel good about yourself? Now you always want to be on the lookout for those little weird thingamabobs, just in case you know. Switch back to our regular pistol. As you can see, we have three Cerberuses, which is very strange. Cerberus pr plural? I don't know. Either way, we're going to switch to this scoped one. Actually, this close quarter, we don't want to scope on ours. Hello? Hello? Are you, like, trying to find somebody? Ow. Other than me? I know you guys are looking for me. Because I'm wanted dead or alive. Oop. Here we go. Phoenix down. We can't use it because we already have Phoenix down based on the shield in the bottom left. But it's always not. Oh God! Up, uh, boom. There we go. Long barrel. Now this is what I'm talking about. It's gonna make our pistol look really weird, but it's really useful. Another Mako point. I will really take that. Mach handgun bullets. I thought that's it. Machine gun bullets. Anyway, let's go ahead and add that long barrel to our trusty Cerberus. Doesn't look like a Cerberus anymore. But now we have a long-range Cerberus. It fires slower, but it, you know, it's useful. 
Now, that door didn't have a lamp above it, but, you know, it's, it's just a standard wooden door. Oh, snap! This is our very first boss fight! Really! First level, first boss fight. It's good to have the long-range barrel for this fight, because, well, this thing really loves to fly out like that. Of course, using a scope may or may not be helpful, based on your judgment. Don't blow up those explosive barrels quite yet. You may want them later. Oh, snap! Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Whew. Hey, 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 ow! Where'd that training go to? Now, this is why I said don't blow up those barrels yet, because this dragonfly will drop out more of these soldiers. It's really going to be useful if you can just blow up the barrels and deal with them quickly. Though you won't always have that luxury. As you see, I'm still saving my limit break despite this being a boss. They're actually very dealable with on just, you know, relying on your own gun. Alright, that's a good chain. Oh! Whoa, hey! Yep, take some bullets. You're really starting to annoy me, you know that? Now, magic doesn't really matter about what range you're at most of the time. Ow! Oh! Ow. That was nice. But of course, you technically want him to be at a closer range, like that. Maybe or maybe not. What was that? That was weird. First time I've seen that before. Wait, still want to deal with these dudes. Or these guys. Oh! Did not see that. Hey, look, I did it right. I saved myself. We're almost done with this boss fight. And we're through. Alright! Is it gonna crash? Now, Vincent needs to have some serious FMJ to pierce that thing. And that thing's got some serious rockets. Well, either way, we're safe for now. For now, at least. And who is this girl? No, that's kind of creepy. We found you. Is this the one? Yes. So many characters that we're unfamiliar with. Not cool. And then we can switch back to our regular Cerberus now. I didn't think I'd know about that. Just a phoenix down though. Now you can go ahead and investigate the rooms. Which is the first moment where you have a breath of relief. There's a jukebox store. Which, you know, we can modify and stuff. Actually, let's see if we can buy anything. We can buy handgun bolts. It's always nice to have them. a lot of those. Just press left all the way and you'll get a max. Uh, I don't really want to buy potions. We'll, we'll try to stick to, you know... Oh, hey! Now that's nice! I can already upgrade Cerberus! Additional firepower has been added to the handgun frame. Nice. It's always a good idea to modify your gun. Always. I didn't think we'd get enough gill. Huh. I guess that's the pro of having, like, you know... Now, as you can see, limit break yourself for quite a bit, but I'd actually save that money. Phoenix Downs as well, but I'd also try to save them. Hey, you know what? There's a Phoenix down in the other room. Let's get our 700 gill worth. Dang. I don't know what 
get that upgrade so soon. Either way, let's check this room. I'll perform a backflip. You can't open the lockers, unfortunately. I wish we could. Now we get a short barrel, which is, like, as useful as a duck, pretty much in this game. Honestly, all it really does is increase increases the speed at which you can fire at, but it lowers its power and its range by a considerable amount. Seriously. Now we just pretty much have this pistol that goes pew, 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 and doesn't have the po firepower to support it. And we have this pistol that goes bang, bang, and it has the firepower, but not the speed. So, that's why I always stick to Cerberus medium. Hello? Okay, it's abandoned. Uh, I spoke too soon? Seriously, who is the big guy? He looks very scary. The proto uh, what? Tell us where it is. What's all this about materia? All of a sudden. Really? Okay, you're all going to hell. I don't think so. Oh, wait, what? Did you see that? What? I can't shoot him! What is this madness? Okay, that guy had some serious armor. Uh, I don't want to take you on. <laughs> hey, look, the little girl fainted. Aren't you? Aren't you gonna do something about her? Cause she's in the same clothes. This way. <laughs> look, he's on your side. I guess. Seriously, at least tell me who you are. You're blue? Really? That's your name? Azul? <sighs> What'd you break? What Reeve! Are you alright? Mm -hmm. Reeve. Nice to see you again. Not a very interesting outfit, though. Yeah. It's okay, I guess. It took me a while to decide which costume I'd put on for today. But enough of the small talk. Who are those soldiers that just left? I don't know. The large one called himself Azul. Azul? The Cerulean? Uh, you know him, Reef? Of the Sviets? The Sviets? What? Then that could only mean... Commissioner! Reeve, you worked for Shinra. Tell us what's th what the hell is going on. <sighs> More of them. We'll discuss this later. WRO troops have arrived and commenced rescue operations. All right. We could use your help, Vincent. Reeve. Hmm? I don't know what you're up to. I want absolutely no part of it. What? Vincent! But you fought alongside us three years ago. Exactly! We need your help once more! Oh, snap! Does this mean Kate Sith dies? Does, does this mean that he's dead? Does it... What the hell? Oh! Great, it's Kate Sith. Hi. Yeah, he's not so bad in this game. He's really got a mouth that flies, though. All right. What do you want me to do? Let's run those lads out of town. I'll leave the method up to you. When you've tidied things up, meet me 
Ah, great. <sighs> All right, Kate. Anyway, before I go ahead and do just that, I'm going to cut the part off. Assist the WRO. Yep, let me. Thank you. I'm going to cut the part off right here, so guys, please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and in the next part, we will assist the World Regenesis Organization. So until then.